Hi everybody. It's been a while, hasn't it? I've moved from Brazil and now I'm living in the UK. And of course, I was gonna do something special for my first Geologize video for a long time. I wanna come somewhere special. And that's why I've come to the holy grail of geology in the United Kingdom, Lyme Regis. Most people come to this beach because they want to find ammonites. But in fact, you can see an awful lot more than just fossils here. You can see evidence of life interacting with the sea floor. So what we have just here, for example, are burrows in the mud of this ancient sea floor in the Jurassic 200 million years ago. So we have a lot of fossils here in Lyme Regis, the lower Jurassic. And that tells us that it was a pretty healthy and vibrant environment. But the sheer amount of trace fossils that we have here suggests that it was very, very oxic. There was plenty of oxygen at the bottom of the sea. And that in turn tells us a lot about how much organic matter was being degraded, how it was being processed by bacteria that live in the sediment. So the fossils are all very, very interesting and important. But if you get your eye in a little bit more, you can actually tell a much bigger story. This is incredible. This whole rock sequence is beautiful. And what you have is successive layers, each deposited one after the other at the bottom of the sea. You've got muddy layers, you've got slightly thicker limestoney layers, rich in calcium carbonate. We're not allowed to climb the cliffs at Lyme Regis because they're really, really unstable. Uh, so one thing we can do is we just have to take advantage of what nature provides us. And what we have here is a landslide. You can see that this package of sediment has fallen down from just up there. So this is a, a seemingly boring mudstone, but one thing that geologists do to test to see how much clay is inside is lick it like this. Looks a bit disgusting, I know. But because clay expands when it touches water, and my tongue has a lot of water, it sticks slightly to my tongue. So you can do the sticky tongue test. The bacteria that live in the sediment, if there's no oxygen, then these bacteria can't actually operate because they respire just like us. And when that happens, the organic matter in the sediment is preserved you get these very dark, organic rich rocks. When you see a rock like that coming from up there in the cliff face, that you know that particular level, that particular time in Earth's history came from a time where there was little oxygen in the sea.
find any fossils today? Uh, I'm going to go get one. Can you go get one? A fossil. Is this a fossil, is it? Yes. Let me have a look at this. You see any fossils in there? No? Got any others? Okay, hey, hey, though. You've got some work to do. 